Prince Harry has wrecked his life by cutting himself off from the royal family in his move to the US. Prince Harry and his wife, Meghan Markle, moved to North America following their shock exit from working royal life two years ago. In a recent interview with the Today Show, Harry opened up on his new life in California, saying that he and his family had been welcomed with open arms. He explained that, home for me now is, for the time being, is in the States. But the Duke's decision to move across the pond has garnered a lot of criticism, with one royal expert saying he thinks that the Duke has wrecked his life. Royal biographer Howard Hodgson told that, he, Harry, is now living abroad, cut off from his family and signing up deals with Netflix which produces The Crown. And then sort of saying, well I don't consider The Crown to be a bad program, it's fiction isn't it? Well, if somebody portrayed my father so badly, I would have loved the opportunity to go on Oprah Winfrey to say, this is rubbish. But he never said it was rubbish. He added, and having said, I want to go and live in America because I want to be left to live my own life in private, the last thing I would do is go on the Oprah Winfrey show. So I think there is a huge amount of hypocrisy. I think he is a very confused man. And the situation is, I'm afraid, I think Harry has wrecked his life, which often happens in the air and spare dynamic, the Queen and, Princess, Margaret, Edward VIII and George VI. Since they were born, Prince William and Harry have held two unofficial titles, dubbed the heir, William, the future king, and the spare, Harry. These hierarchical roles have proved to be rather impactful, with spares such as Prince Andrew and Princess Margaret struggling to navigate their royal roles. With William destined for the top job from a young age, Harry had more room to find his own path. Robert Lacey recounted a conversation between the princes in his book Battle of Brothers, which puts the air and spare dynamic in Harry's own words. Speaking to his older brother, a four-year-old Harry said, you will be king one day. I won't. So I can do what I want. Mr. Hodgson's comments come after the Duke and Duchess of Sussex's secret visit to the UK, during which they reportedly met with the Queen and Prince Charles, marking the couple's first visit to the UK since their departure. Harry had returned to his home country twice before their low-key stop-off, once for the funeral of his grandfather, Prince Philip, in 2021, and second for the unveiling of a statue in tribute to his late mother, Diana, Princess of Wales. Now, after two years in the US, the Sussexes returned to the UK in what has been dubbed an olive branch. Harry and Meghan met the Queen at her home, Windsor Castle, for a quiet reunion. During his Today Show interview, the Duke described his visit to the Queen, saying, being with her, it was great. It was so nice to see her. She's on great form. She's always got such a great sense of humor with me and I'm just making sure she's protected and got the right people around her. Buckingham Palace has maintained a dignified silence on the meeting, in part out of respect to the monarch, who loves her grandson, but Harry did not choose to issue a polite no comment. The prince made clear that he has firmly settled in California. He said, home for me now is for the time being. In the States and it feels that way. We've been welcomed with open arms and have a great community in Santa Barbara. He moved with Meghan to Montecito, California, after their decision to step down as senior royals in 2020.